Are you looking for the best home theater projector 4K in 2023? In this video we will look at some of the best home theater projector 4K in 2023 on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Epson Home Cinema 5050 UB. The Epson Home Cinema 5050 UB is the best all-around 4K projector because it has the perfect balance between image quality and price. An excellent contrast ratio, paired with impressive brightness and accurate color, all with better detail than what's possible with a 1080p projector, and you've got all the pieces for a fantastic image. This UHD projector is not cheap, but offers a significant step up in image quality over other 4K projectors. Extensive lens shift and a motorized zoom are the icing on the cake. Read our Epson Home Cinema 5050 UB review. The Epson Home Cinema 5050 UB 4K Pro UHD 1 projector delivers an amazing 4K home theater experience for the DIY enthusiast. Capable of displaying an astonishing 2600 lumens for both color and white brightness, 3, along with proprietary processors for resolution enhancement, color and image processing, the Home Cinema 5050 UB produces incredible brightness, color accuracy and image detail to faithfully display all your favorite content the way it was meant to be seen. If you're looking for an amazing 4K projection experience to power your new home theater build, this could be it. Now that's projection perfected. While there are many reasons the VPL, VW325S performs as well as it does, the main one comes down to two simple words, contrast ratio. Using a trio of 4K SXRD liquid crystal on silicon chips, the VPL, VW325S puts out a contrast ratio that's 60% better than the next best projector I've measured recently, and more than 10x better than most of the other projectors I've reviewed. That contrast allows the Sony to create an image that looks significantly more realistic, with more apparent depth, than anything that costs less. And a lot of projectors cost less. You could buy a good used car for less than this projector. I know, I have. And despite the high price, this Sony is not particularly bright. A few years ago its 1500 lumens would have been fine, but these days 2500 is common and over 3000 isn't unheard of. Because of its excellent contrast ratio, however, the VPL, VW325S still blows away brighter PJs like the Epson 5050 UB, but you need total light control in your room. Otherwise its remarkable black level is wasted. You can think of the VPL, VW325S is the old TV of projectors. It looks stunning in every way, but it's also very expensive and absolutely needs heavy curtains at least, blackout curtains ideally. For the select few who can afford it, and have a room that suits it, it's fantastic. At number 2. Sony VPL, VE325S. The Sony VPL, VW325S is a thoroughbred among ponies, a Porsche among Volkswagens, an absolute stunner with a price tag to match. The contrast ratio, easily the most important aspect of overall picture quality, is better than the Epson 5050 and significantly better than any projector that doesn't cost significantly more. And that's saying something, since the Sony itself costs significantly more than any other projector on this list. If price is no object, the 4K resolution picture quality is incredible. While there are many reasons the VPL, VW325S performs as well as it does, the main one comes down to two simple words, contrast ratio. Using a trio of 4K SXRD liquid crystal on silicon chips, the VPL, VW325S puts out a contrast ratio that's 60% better than the next best projector I've measured recently, and more than 10x better than most of the other projectors I've reviewed. That contrast allows the Sony to create an image that looks significantly more realistic, with more apparent depth, than anything that costs less. And a lot of projectors cost less. You could buy a good used car for less than this projector. I know, I have. And despite the high price, this Sony is not particularly bright. A few years ago its 1500 lumens would have been fine, but these days 2500 is common and over 3000 isn't unheard of. Because of its excellent contrast ratio, however, 
The VPL VW325 as still blows away brighter PJs like the Epson 5050 UB, but you need total light control in your room. Otherwise its remarkable black level is wasted. You can think of the VPL VW325S as the old TV of projectors. It looks stunning in every way, but it's also very expensive and absolutely needs heavy curtains at least, blackout curtains ideally. For the select few who can afford it, and have a room that suits it, it's fantastic. The 325S is a true 4K projector, in the digital cinema sense. It sports a resolution of 4,096x2,160, an extra 552,960 pixels over those wimpy Ultra HD projectors and their 3,840x2,160 resolution. However, unless you send the projector for 096 x 2 160 it's only using the 3,840x2,160 portion of the chip, with black bars on either side. However, the black level is so good you can't really notice these bars unless you're really looking for them. And why is that black level so good? The 325S uses a different technology than most projectors. Epson, for instance, uses LCD chips, similar to most TVs, nearly all other projector manufacturers use DLP chips made by Texas Instruments to create an image. Sony uses SXRD, their own version of a tech called liquid crystal on silicon. This is a far more expensive technology and is only found in high-end projectors like Sony's own and JVC with their dealer variant. However, Lucas is capable of significantly higher contrast ratios than the other two, which is by far the most important aspect of overall picture quality, as we'll discuss in a moment. At number 3. Optoma UHZ50. The Optoma UHZ50, like the Epson LS11000, uses a laser to create light. The UHZ50S blue laser is paired with a yellow phosphor, and the result is a bright, vibrant image. Detail is fantastic, and it turns on and off quickly, making it easy to live with. It's also relatively quiet. The contrast ratio is very good for a DLP projector, but not as good as the LCD and Lucas projectors on this list. The small, inexpensive looking case also has minimal zoom and lens shift, making it harder to fit in some rooms than the Sony and Epson options in this roundup. Overall, though, a great projector. At first glance, the Optoma UHZ50 looks like any other compact DLP projector. Inside, though, is a different story. Instead of the UHP lamps typical of most home theater projectors, the UHZ50 uses a laser to generate light. The result is a bright, colorful image from a relatively small, quiet box. And unlike traditional UHP lamp-based projectors, it's fast to turn on and off. Some minor issues came up in my side-by-side -side comparisons. There's some banding in colors with HDR TV shows and movies. The smaller zoom and lens shift range mean your placement options are more limited. While the contrast ratio is good for a DLP projector, it's not as good as some projectors based on LCD or LCOS, like the Epson 5050 UB or the Sony VPL VW325S. Overall, though, the UHZ50 is a great projector. The image is bright enough to watch with some lights on if you have to, the colors really pop, and it doesn't sound like a vacuum a few feet from your head. It's also very easy to live with, presuming it fits in your theater and your budget. I still consider the Epson the best 4K projector in this price range, but the Optomer gets closer than ever. At number 4. Anchor Nebular Mars 2 Pro. The Mars 2 Pro is our favorite portable projector here due to its light output, overall image quality, ease of use, and affordable price. This mobile device is a bit bigger than most other portable projectors here, but still small enough to hide completely under a six-pack of Coke. The built-in 12,500mR battery is good for about three and a half hours, longer if you just run it as a Bluetooth speaker. There are apps built in, some of which consider the Mars 2 a portable device, meaning you can download content to its 8GB internal memory for offline watching. The faux leather strap also makes carrying the outdoor projector around super easy. Video quality will be good enough for many viewers, but compared with a similarly priced home projector it's far dimmer, with worse contrast ratio and color accuracy. 
Compared with other tiny, battery-powered projectors however, the image is very watchable and speakers sound surprisingly powerful. The main reason to get the Mars 2 Pro is if you want ultra-portable video, especially outdoors. It's easy to put near a wall or screen and stream some Netflix within minutes, anywhere. If you plan to use it regularly in the same room inside, however, you're probably better off with a more traditional projector. Editor's note, December the 1st, due to its performance, size and price, we're giving the Nebular Mars 2 Pro our Editor's Choice Award as our favorite portable projector. While there are newer portable mini projectors that are brighter and easier to use, the ones that outperform this anchor, like the Xjimi Halo Plus, are also more expensive. The Mars 2 Pro is a great all-around projector for the price. Basic Specs Native Resolution 1. 280x720 Pike Selster Compatible Non-4K, Compatible No 3D, Compatible No Lumen Spec 500 Zoom None Lens Shift None Lamp Life Normal Mode 30,000 Hours The Mars 2 Pro is smaller than you might think. It would fit easily inside any backpack with plenty of room to spare for a water bottle, hoodie or camera. Anchor could have made the carrying strap out of cheap feeling plastic, but has a faux leather top and is soft underneath. It's nice to touch. There are buttons on the top for all the basic functions, but no controls for zoom or focus. This is logical since there's no zoom and focus is automatic. An integrated slide open lens cap also turns the projector on and off. To get a 100 inch image, the Mars 2 Pro needs to be about 9 feet from the screen. Resolution is 720p, which is pretty low for a projector these days and lower than the competing ViewSonic M2, which is 1080p. The LED lamp is rated at 30,000 hours. Max brightness is acclaimed 500 lumens. I measured about 37 nits, which calculates out to about 337 lumens. For comparison, the ViewSonic M2 produces 349 lumens by my measurements, while the slightly more expensive, but far less portable, Optoma HD1 for 6x puts out around 1146. Anchor claims the internal 12,500mR battery is good for about 3 and a half hours viewing time, and about that long to charge back up again. If you keep it in the high brightness mode, that drops to one and a half hours. If you're just using the Mars 2 as a Bluetooth speaker, Anchor claims about 30 hours for audio-only playback. Though not specifically mentioned as a feature by Anchor, some apps treat the Mars 2 Pro as a mobile device, so you can actually download shows to its 8GB internal storage. At number 5. AAXA P6X. I like the top projector better but the AAXA P6X is my pick when money is tight. Not only is it less expensive than the Anchor above, it's also brighter with superior battery life. This mini projector fits in my hand, creates a 720p image, and has a huge 15,000mR battery. An HDMI input and USB connection lets you connect and power a streaming stick. The stick connection is important because the AAXA lacks built-in apps. Light output is impressive for its size and price, about 50% more than the Anchor Mars 2 Pro, though its contrast ratio is a bit less. The internal battery should last around 90 minutes in the mini projector's brightest mode, and an impressive 240 minutes in echo mode, probably a little less if you're also powering a streaming stick. The internal speaker isn't great, but there's a headphone jack you can connect to a portable speaker. The P6X is impressively small, 6 inches on a side, and less than 2 inches tall. The LEDs inside are capable of acclaimed 1100 lumens. Most portable projectors are rated for less than half that. I measured 437, which at half the rated specification is still higher than any of the other portable projectors I've measured. One of the main issues with the P6X is the resolution, 1, 280x800. In fairness, most inexpensive portable projectors are around this resolution, with only a handful at 1080p, none at 4K and some even less than the AAXA. I saw relatively big, chunky pike cells on larger screen sizes, but for this price and portability, it's not a big deal. Just something to keep in mind if you're used to your 4K 50-inch TV. The PX6 is surprisingly heavy for its size. 
That's almost entirely due to its massive 15,000 mR battery, more than many USB battery packs. The result is a claimed runtime at full brightness of 90 minutes, which is all some portable projectors can manage at significantly lower light output. The 240 minutes in echo mode, which is 66% dimmer, basically means a whole night of movies without plugging in. That's rare. The AAXA is also significantly quieter in echo mode, which is an added bonus. Despite the serious lack of real estate, the P6X's backside has the basic connections you need and a bit more. The single HDMI connection is plenty, it lets you connect a streaming stick, and the USB port delivers more than enough power for it. There's even an analog video input, which is actually quite rare. On the audio front, there's a headphone jack and a 4 watt speaker. The latter isn't great, but it gets the job done. There's no lens shift or zoom, which is to be expected. Focus is adjusted using a small dial. I actually like this analog capability over the automatic zoom found on some portables. I also drive a manual transmission car, so why MMV? The remote is about half the size of a credit card. A handy DIY mod could be a small strip of Velcro to keep the remote with the projector. Just don't stick it to the left of the logo on top, as that gets hot when the projector is on. Unfortunately, the P6X doesn't recharge via USB. It comes with a moderately bulky power brick. I'm a strong believer that everything should charge via USB, but that's not always possible due to cost and other factors. So I don't count this as a negative as much as that would have been cool.